What do you think our hypothesis should be for this uh, wildlife uh, exploration? Well, in addition to us actually doing real wildlife research, this is actually a question of how uh, suburbia, when it encroaches upon the natural settings of the land, which we've shown, affects the habitat. Uh, during the day and during at night, whether uh, it's increased or decreased. Uh, also the affectation on uh, the plant life itself, we've seen in the urban areas that a lot of this natural growth of the prickly pines or the uh, cacti and the uh, certain food bearing uh, plants are just non-existent. They're wiped out. In, in addition to that, although we all love our family pets, uh, up here they seem to let them roam free. And I'm very positive that uh, the chipmunks and all the little guys, they ain't liking that at all. In fact, they ain't living here no more. So uh, it's a harsh reality. Uh, the hypothetical question was that, uh, does, uh, does suburbia affect the urban areas in a, uh, in a manner that would uh, decrease our biodiversity? And what would you say in that, in that situation? I would say that it does. After just walking this a uh, little bit and also driving through this area, it definitely has an effect on uh, the untouched areas versus the touched areas. You can actually see the difference both on in physical reality, but also when you go in there and look, uh, there's nothing but, uh, I mean, we've seen a, a live snake on the ground. Otherwise, me and Cody only seen dead things, uh, roadkill, stuff like that. So when animals go into our areas, and our areas are increasing, they tend to die. And I gave you my perception on the power lines being pretty close to everything. Do you think that, I think I thought it, it matters to the environment because it's getting close. What, what are your personal opinions? The power lines signify the future encroachment of human habitation and the decrease of habitation for wildlife itself. And that's our hypothesis.